that's where I'm at. Like, I'm just, I, I don't know. Like, I think they really fucking want me to suck the dick. Of course, so, man. You have to. You said you would do it. Yeah, but you know how many things I've said I'd do and didn't do? You know, the the, the, the fucking list this is, is endless. This, this is how you become reformed. This is the beginning. So you're saying I could actually fix my reputation it, by yeah, fix being, reputation, man. By keeping, in your mouth. keeping my word, right? By keeping my word this, this time, right? With Save the, yourself as a streamer and as an entertainer and honestly as a, as a person. As, so Suck you're a saying, dick. so you're saying this is the dick to save all dicks. Yeah. The dick least, sucking, yeah, you. the reviving the dead fucking Mitch Jones to dick suck. Like what the fuck? Like oh, what the fuck? I know, but it's weird. It's fucking weird. Okay. Would you? Wanna... No, it's not. It's not weird. It is weird. It is weird. No, it's not. It Stop is. being homophobic. It's fucking weird. Okay. Wait. Okay, dude. Thoughts about last lyric? Uh, yo, lyric tweeted that he's like getting tired of like being on the internet and shit. What do you feel about that? Good for him, dude. What the fuck? Enjoy his time off. What do you mean good for him? Take oh. some time off. No, but I'm saying like, do you, can, you, can, can you relate in a sense to how he's feeling? Like a, a little bit. Sure. I would love to take some time off and play vanilla wow for a fucking month straight. Fuck yeah, dude. I do that in a heartbeat. Shit. I wait, don't know wait, if wait, I can get away with it. Question. Though. Why don't you do that? Uh, Because I don't. I feel like when, whenever I take days off, I like I could do a stream tomorrow and be pretty happy doing it. I'd have a good time, but eventually I'm going to get to a point where I wouldn't be able to do a stream tomorrow and I need a day off. Like I wouldn't be happy doing a stream. Okay. Right. Uh, so I feel like I, sh like I feel like I should save my days off for those days. Uh, will you also cup the balls? No, I'm not going to cup the balls, cradle the balls, stroke the shaft, swallow the gravy. Okay. Relax everybody. Um, my, my next, call, call these people in your chat saying money. I yeah, could do a I'm sponsored not... stream every single day. And those sponsored streams make more than sell out Sunday. And I only have to play the game for an hour or two. And I don't. What the fuck? So when I when I when I work for, when, when I really do stick to a reputation like that and and morals like that, and people still say just money and say that kind of shit. I don't know if you're trolling, but fuck you. <laughs> Wait, okay, answer this question completely real. Okay, so would you Obviously, you probably have a you know you've made enough money streaming to where you're probably chilling, right? So it's not about money. But if you take thirty days off, are you worried that it would like affect your career or like do you you obviously would never do it, but would uh -huh. you? But would you like like let's say you could do it and let, let's say it benefited you, right? Let's say you took thirty days off, you come back, you have three hundred k viewers, like like fucking T one, right? Let's say that happened. Would you uh -huh. do it in that scenario? Would you? Say everything you said again. Okay. If it benefited I, I spaced you, out. I only listened to puzzle pieces and I tried to put them together. I'm sorry. I'm hey, it's really all good. Slow Listen, right now. It's all good, Ethan. It's all good. Look, if you if you could take a break from Twitch and come back with mm -hmm. more hype, would you do it? It depends. I think there's a lot of different variables. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do it if it was gonna piss a lot of people off. Like if I, in a way, it's not treating my viewers fairly. Yeah. Uh, there has to be some justify. It have to be in some way justified. If I feel like, here's an example. If I get to a point where I just God, I fucking need to play Vanilla WoW. I, and truth be told, I really do at some point want to take a lot of time off streaming before Vanilla WoW releases with Blizzard, and I want to play Vanilla WoW beginning to end, starting from level one, get all the way to sixty, go all the way through all of the content, make a PvP video. Like, really fucking figure the whole game out, remind myself of everything before the game comes out, and do it, right? I do want to do it at some point. Will I? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on if my viewers kind of let me, mm -hmm. right? Do so, I feel like doing it now? No, how I don't, long, how much I have time a lot of off, other things I want to do. How much time off would you have to take to do that? I don't know. Yeah, but why do you want to play Vanilla WoW so bad, man? Like, what the fuck? Because I love that game. Dude, I know, me too, but the thing is, you've already leveled, like, 400 times in it, like... I'm just so confused how you can still play Vanilla WoW. Like, I, it's because so it's a crazy. great game I can play while just browsing the internet, man. Yeah, I, like, that, that, it's a great, it's a wonderful streaming game. Honestly, just sit there and play it and fantasize about being able to stream it. Well, you'll be able to stream it in two years, right? Uh, whenever they release it, uh, yeah. You'll be able to fucking stream it in two years, so poke chance for that. But it's, it's going to be a while before they release that shit. I think so. It is what it is. Uh, Soda White Knights, lol. No, I don't think Soda has white knights. I, like, you guys don't really know. I mean, maybe you do know Soda pretty decently well, but I feel like Soda, he really loves you guys. You know, like, no homo. Like, I'm not just saying this. Like, Soda tries, like, 
really hard to be good at his job and he is really good at it. So you got to respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Like you just have to respect, like, for example, dude, like I just respect the shit of you. Cause you've been through the hard shit and you stuck with it and you've, you know, you've fucking, you've done your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like me and like streamers like to take breaks and like all this other shit that like, just like, w like we don't deserve to feel like the way we feel. You know what I mean? Like for me, example, when I'm sitting there like bitching, like I don't think I deserve like any of the clout that I've get, that I've remained to keep because I've, I, I basically gave it away. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really did. Like, for, like, I just, I don't know. I'm saying, like, I'm thankful for the viewers that, like, that fuck with me. And it means a lot to me. And, like, for people that work hard, it actually matters. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, um, like, you, you remember, for example, uh, when I, you remember, like, la a year and a half ago when I came to your house and I was, like, I think, I'm thinking about just quitting altogether. You remember that? And I was, like, talking about how I was, um, you remember that conversation, right? Yes. Yeah. I was fucking, like, I was on one about how I was going to quit Twitch and how, uh, you know, I was about to just give my fucking, like, following away. I didn't give a <laughs> shit anymore, right? And I don't know. I'm just glad that I fucking am able to still stream. So, you know what? Hearts in the chat, and thank you guys. I appreciate that. But, yeah, mm -hmm. that's good shit. Uh, here's an olive branch for you, Mitch. I don't think uh, you thought Tyler's one next stream would be his league return stream. I'm sure you thought he would stream a regular playing. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I fucked up. It's all good. I got to suck a dick. It's fine. Uh, this chat with you and Chance has been kind of enjoyable. If you keep up stuff like this without uh, with other streamers, would be entertaining. Maybe Ethan in the mix, call of the clouds or something, seal grip. Yeah, true, true, true. Mm, you couldn't make it a long time. Like, I can't. Yeah, the, the, you yeah, and I can thing, only yeah. talk about this shit so much, and you only have so many yeah, people yeah. like me in your life that you that stream and you have a relationship with, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. No, I, this can't be my content long term, but like for you now... You and I already yeah. know each other, so we're already past that type of conversation, right? Yeah, for, of course. I've known you for a long ass time. But yeah, my uh, th that's the whole point with like the, the the beginning of our conversation was like we were talking about the direction of like where he wants to take your channel or his channel. Yeah, you, you gotta talk a little slower, man. Sounding like Eminem and shit right now. Calm down. Okay, my bad. I'll talk slower. Um... I was saying we we're talking about the direction of where you want to take your channel and where the direction I wanted to take my channel was. And like, that's what we were kind of going on about. Um, uh -huh. I, yeah. Like, that's a good question. Actually. Do you think you're, you're taking your channel uh, in the variety streaming route or like, do you think you'll ever settle with a game again? Like, you know, like, fuck I would wow. love to, if my stream lets me, I mean, yeah. it's all a matter of like, if, if they I'm let sitting you, there dude, playing... you, you guys have all the power chat. Like, dude, you guys are fucked up. Of course man. They do. I know they have all the power, dude. Like, Fucking A, why you guys do this shit, dude? Okay, go ahead, though. I mean, of course. If I'm playing a game and my viewer count is tanking, of course I'm going to look at it and be like, shit, man. It's like having a friend come over and you're like, you're going to play a game with this friend and you're excited to show your friend this game. I'm trying to, like, when I was, like, really young, like 10 years old, uh, I'd have a friend come over. He wouldn't enjoy the game and it would make me sad. It's like, fuck, I feel like, I feel kind of bad. He's not having a good time, but I want I kind of want to keep playing this game. Eventually... You're like, fuck, okay, we'll do something he enjoys. So when I look at my viewer count and it's kind of low, I'm like, fuck, my friend's not having a good time. Mm -hmm. Eventually that weighs on you and you kind of want to do something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. I, hey, chat, can you guys just like, bro, you guys could make my life so dope if you would watch my dog shit gameplay. You know, like, it doesn't even have to be dog shit. It just has to be like, if you watched my gameplay, it would change my life, like, as a streamer and as a person. Like, I swear to God. Like, if I didn't have to IRL stream to, like, keep my keep up with, like, whatever my ego tells me that it has to be. Like, I feel like I've developed this entitled ego when it comes to streaming. And I and, and for some reason, I can't let it go. You know what I mean? Like, I think all of us streamers really have this. Like, do, 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 do you feel with what I'm saying a little bit? Like, um, sorry, do you feel with what I'm saying, Chance? Like, do you feel like you've generated this, like, ego when it comes to streaming that if you don't hit this, this point, you're going to feel, like, kind of mad about yourself? Do you feel that way ever or no? You talking about viewer count, like hit a certain not, viewer not, count. Not point? just not just viewer count. I'm talking like the whole nine. Like I'm talking like um, donations, uh, followers, all of it. You know, like I'm talking like all of I it. I actually, and I, I I mean this. This is actually, <laughs> I think it's really funny. I genuinely do not look at how much I make in donations per day. Yeah, I I don't look at that either. Okay, how about the other? I things don't look on? at my follower count. The only thing I look at is viewer count. Okay, that's and it. And if you don't uh, hit that, like, do you feel like you've generated, like, imagine you turn your stream on, you played Dark Souls, and you peaked at 9k viewers, and that was all you got, and you're not, you're used to having, like, double that or more, right? So that would, would, would you feel, like, w how would you feel, you know? Like, that's, like, that's my reality, pretty much. It's like, if I go play Fortnite, I'm fucked, you know what I mean? And, like, I, I have to be okay with that, you, you know what I'm saying? There's some games, like, if uh, there's games that, uh, 
that just do well and I know it. And those are the kind of games that I know that if you want to play them, I'll tell you the waiting room does well for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little scary indie game. Little Nightmares did a lot well for me. Last of Us did well for me. Beyond Two Souls did well for me. These are all games. So I got Azura's Wrath did well for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, 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 but the, all those games those, are those are one time games. You can only they only help you in the moment. There are so fucking many of them though. There's so many. Mitch, I can go on. I'm just giving you my top pick right away. Okay. Resident Evil 7, Outlast. All of them would farm. Honestly, okay, so well, any playthrough that guaranteed. has a decent amount of cutscenes and storyline, comp- as long okay, as you do yeah, a full right, playthrough so in that stream. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I'm actually going to do all these full play, uh, full playthroughs just to see how uh, my channel reacts to them. But if it if it doesn't go well, then I'll probably... Like, I'll probably just go back to, like, I guess, IRLing again or, like, doing whatever the fuck works. You know what I mean? Which is, like... Just do it all, man. Do IRL when you feel like it. I'm doing this today, guys. This is a good... Here's a good playthrough. Get a list of games on a fucking notepad and the days that you feel like doing not IRL or not your typical shit, do a playthrough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm going to set up a schedule or, for the week. I'll set up a schedule for the week. games, too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, no. You can do things like uh, play Witchet, play the Jackbox Party Pack. Ooh, Jackbox just do party play pack. some of those games with your viewers, dude. They're just nice to have in the background and just talk. Do your normal thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm I'm actually feeling very optimistic towards streaming because I feel like I'm getting somewhere. You know what I mean? Like I'm starting to like actually drop my ego a little bit and really like look at it as like a whole and like what I want to do. Because like there's something that Forsen said that really resonated with me, and he's like, you know, you got to get your job to a a place where you actually enjoy doing it you know what i mean and like when well, you're another thing is like you take you take your vivance did you take vivance you yeah, said that's what I, you're taking I, now I, I, it's not it's it's claritin or some shit or what the fuck is Whatever. it about? Oh, see, I, something for adhd I'll, I'll tell you right now dude i i've said some shit on stream when i'm on adderall or vivance or whatever the fuck whenever i took that back on either prescription mm-hmm. uh maybe some other fucking times too that shit changes how you feel about stuff just mm-hmm. telling you right now. Wait, yeah, really no, it gives you, you it, it, it gives you confidence for sure, right? Like an optimism. But the thing is, uh, for someone with ADHD like me, I could literally take this shit every day. Like I, I could literally take it every day, and that's what doctors prescribe people with ADHD. You know what I mean? Like I could, uh-huh. like obviously a normal person like you. It, for me, AD, my ADHD is weird. Like when I'm medicated, I start to feel more normal, and I can actually hold a conversation and not space out. Like for example. Uh, you notice in this conversation, I'm like very engaged. I'm very into it. You know what I mean? You're, but nor- you're talking real fast, man. It's stressing me out. Yeah, my bad, my bad. But normally, if I'm talking to you, I'd just be like, no, oh, what up, Chance? <laughs> like, I would just be fucking like half assing it, just doing Mitch Jones's thing, right? But the thing is, like, I'm actually involved in this conversation and like, uh, I'm into it. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, I know. Same. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, can you tell Soda that I love him? I appreciate you both for the convo. Thanks for the great talk. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, you know your life could have been dope by now. Streaming every day for six plus years, no drama, having 300K in the bank, and streaming League 24-7, not worrying about money. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, listen. Yeah, I don't think so. I actually don't think so. Like, I don't think so. Dude, Chance, do you remember, like, six years ago, when you, the first donation you ever got when you shaved your head? Do you remember that? Bless me X. Yep. Donated $500. Didn't leave a note. And I was like, yo, man, you just gave me $500. Like, it was crazy. I was like, man, I would shave my head for that much if you just asked me to do it in the note. Then he donated another $1,000 and it said shave head. And then I did it. Yeah. So $1,500, shave my head. Mm-hmm. Byron saw it. was like, whoa, donations are huge. Added top D on the screen. Donations were born. Bam. That's the story. Fuck yeah. I just remember after that, I was sitting in my mom's basement and – you got on Omega, um, Omega or some shit with me. What, what was that shit you used? I don't. It was some weird fucking video chat thing. Do you remember what it was? Omegle. Omegle. That's what it was. Okay. You got on that with me. Me and my friend Max were sitting there, and we were just thinking, this motherfucker just got three. It was like two grand, three grand or something for like shaving your head, something like that, right? And fifteen hundred. Okay, fifteen hundred, right? And me and my friend Max were just like, fuck. Like, and my friend Max was like, yo, turn your stream on. Let's try and fucking, let's try and make some money doing stupid shit, right? And then I turned my stream on. I think I, I think I got to like 15, or 1,500 viewers, or like 2,000 viewers. And I, I got 50 or I got like 100 bucks to shave my armpit. And I remember I did it. And there's probably still an, so itchy, man. Th- there's probably still an imger of that lying around somewhere on the internet today, right? But the funny thing is, is like that was so fucking long ago. And that was the beginning of like of the beginning of you, pretty much, right? The beginning of your channel, like like 
it it all started from like that kind of that time frame, right? No. No. Well, it started. That's when you started blowing up, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I would say blowing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that that's like actually when, like, when... no. What no. Do you mean? What do that you mean? No. Not. That was not the time my channel started blowing up. When did your channel start blowing up? When I went on Twitch. The first day on Twitch. My growth has been more steady than any other streamer. On it eventually Twitch. kind of capped out the past few years, but it was an extremely steady growth. Like before that stream, I remember having people in my call. I remember I was getting like 3,000 viewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 3,000 viewers back in the day was a shitload. I remember like consistent 3K. And then by the time I was in college, by then, I think I probably peaked at 10K that day or some crazy amount, but. The next day I was, you know, 5K viewers and then the next month I was getting a steady 6K and then four months later I was like steady 7K. Like it was a grind, man. It mm -hmm. was a very steady growth all the way through. And I would say I streamed, I mean, I, no, that wasn't the big, that was not when I started blowing up. Shit, that's fucking nuts. Wait, so you, dude, you're just so old. Like, I, but you're not old. That's the thing. Like you're, you're old, but you're not old. Like you look like Wreckful who was like back there in the day with like you and he's like, he's like, he's pretty not, he's upper 20s now I, like, I really do like telling people how long i've been streaming but then i try and tell them my age and i really want them to try and fathom living your whole life as a streamer for the most part yeah, you literally yeah, right. you are a walking meme dog like dude, yeah it's I, kind I, of weird. I at least had like two or three years of like a normal like i'm not trying to be a douche here but like you you've been streaming since like what 7 18 something like that right 17 18 uh Streaming since what? Since 17, like streaming, 18? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like years old. Like what age did you start full-time streaming? Oh, full-time. Well, uh, well, I didn't get paid to stream till I was 18, but I mean, you understand. When I was 15 years old, I literally slept in school. And I, when I went home, I stayed up all night and I live streamed. I live streamed more back when I was 15, not getting paid, than most full-time streamers do on today, mm -hmm. today on Twitch. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I just don't think you had a normal life. Like, I literally think that you just, I, I don't know. Did you, like, maybe you did. Maybe maybe I'm being, like, a dick, but I, I just, like, I feel like you just streamed and that's all you know. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, it is all I know. I would take my ditches and go, like, fucking get drunk and fuck bitches and do all that shit. I, I don't feel like you did any of that. You know what I mean? Like, did you? Like, I'm not saying that's normal shit, but, like, did you ever, like, take a, a break from the internet altogether and, like, just do, like, do normal everyday shit? You know what I mean? Sometimes. I mean, I know what it's like. Um, I don't like it. Damn. That's like, yeah. It's just like, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, the, like the normal, like the normie life, right? Where you go to like, your friend's I was, house. I, I was in college, you know, I took some classes. I talked to people there. I went to some parties, like, and I didn't like it. I Damn. kind of enjoyed just staying on my computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I'm just wondering if you ever had like the normie life. You know what I mean? Like, nope. <laughs> well, I, well, I was popular in school, in, in school, middle school at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I was friends with the nerds, but obviously I didn't tell anyone I played World of Warcraft. I also was friends. Dude, with the I was a kids. closet WoW player too, man. Like, I remember I played yeah. WoW in high school, and I was such a closet player. Anyone asked me, I was like, I don't play that game, but secretly I fucking yeah, loved it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I was dude. friends with everyone. Oh. I was friends with the in between, or like the sorry, yeah, the in the middle of not nerdy but popular. I was friends with like I still am friends with those people, like Brad and Dylan and all of them. And they actually played WoW, but they were like they weren't popular, but they weren't nerds. Mm -hmm. I was friends with the nerds who played fucking Maple Story and RuneScape in advisory class. I'd hang out with them, mm -hmm. we'd talk about WoW, and I was friends with the popular kids who were like full on just jocks. I hung out with them too. Yeah, I hung out with them all. So you literally were uh, you were in so, every crew pretty much. So it's not that I couldn't do it. It's not that I couldn't be a. Oh, I, I, I don't, don't believe it's you. It's not as fun. Yeah, I, I just don't think you. Yeah, you definitely could do whatever the fuck. I mean, there's yeah, being a normie is easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it, it it's definitely being a normie is just being fucking normal. Is what everyone does, right? I don't know. I just think that there's like the when you grow up, you just hit that age where you just like do like crazy shit. Yeah. I, I high, mean, high school came along though. Um. Yeah, that's when I just slept in the class. Yeah, because I, I had all A's, all and my teachers. I also played WoW in school, um, because my te wow. it was a private school. So the teachers had a lot. The teachers had a lot more. Like they could do more what they wanted to. Um, and if you had A's, a lot of the teachers were like, uh, 
you're obviously i'm not gonna you, you have ace like i don't care what you do in class as long as you don't disrupt just like distract other students so i slept in class and i what played wow on my fuck? laptop so you're, you're, yeah. you're wait your teachers were, were cool with you sleeping in class right? yes my physics teacher miss barry literally played star wars the old republic and i always got in arguments with her with how wow is better and I would play WoW, and I would show her my character. What I'd show kind her. of school but, did you go to where they let you a, play a video private games? School, man. Yeah, I went private. to private school as well. And you know what? My, my, I went to Calvert Hall College High School, right? And, dude, uh -huh. if I didn't tuck in my shirt, I got detention. If I didn't get a haircut, I got detention. All right? like My school was very strict, too. Like I almost got kicked out first week going to the school because in my art class, it's a Christian private school. And uh, at, something, at some point, I said, oh, my God. Uh, and my teacher was like, Chance, you can't say that because it's saying the Lord's name in vain. I said, oh, my God. And I responded with Jesus Christ. Like, I kind of <laughs> muttered it to myself. Oh, shit. That's, that's so bad. I said the Lord's name in vain again. And I immediately went, oh, like I kind of caught myself like, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. She just pointed to the door and sent me to the office. And yeah, it was a bad moment, dude. Yeah, dude, I, I was a fucked up kid, man. Like I got I was a fucked up kid. Like I got suspended so many times from school. Like, so many times, especially middle school, I got framed by some girls that I was, like, sexually touching them. But the thing is, they, they wanted me to touch them. Um, like, you know, you know wait, how girls whoa, wait, are. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, this is uh, going to be a little weird. But, uh, okay, there was a group of chicks that I flirted with, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this story very brief because I've said this story before. But there's a, there's a group of girls that I flirted with, okay? And they would always, like, when I would walk up to go, like, my, my teacher would, like, grade the test in the front of the class. And he would have us walk up and wait in line for him to, like, grade our test, right? And there uh -huh. was always this girl that, when I was in that line, she would, she would let me touch her ass, right? She would just let me squeeze her butt and, like, just chill there. And I'd be like, ooh, that's a squishy butt, yeah. right? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. there was, like, a couple other girls like that that would, like, fucking, you know, flirt with me and, like, fucking let me touch their titties and shit, right? And, uh -huh. you know, th they liked it, right? But then as soon as I did something that they didn't like... And I, I, I said a pretty naughty joke, and they didn't like that joke, right? Uh, and then my friend Nat ended up ratting me out to them, and he was like, yeah, Mitch had actually said this, 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 he's a piece of shit, blah, 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 whatever. Then these girls automatically did a 180 and were like, fuck Mitch, right? And then they went to the principal, and they told the principal that I had sexually touched them, and I was like fucking some really troubled kid that was like fucking a sexual deviant, right? And I got suspended for mm -hmm. a week. I, got to, I couldn't go to school for a week, and... My mom was really yeah. fucking pissed. I remember my mom was like really fucking mad. Like she was like, it, it was like some crazy shit. Like, I, I don't know. But yeah, that's just like, that's what I did. I mean, like I've done a lot of fucked up shit, right? But yeah, that's what I did. But the thing I is- I can they, see that happening. But these girls liked it, man. They were all, you understand? I was sexy as fuck I when I was in middle school. I had a friend that did shit like, like that. But the girls was, never turned on them. Yeah, but if they turn on you, they can turn on you easily. Like I was just I'm a sexy- I was so jealous. I was like, man, I wish I had a relationship with girls. Like I could just touch them and- They'd be like, ha, that's you're so funny, Chance. Yeah, Squeezing yeah. Squeezing my boobs like that. Gosh. Dude, that's exactly what I had back in the day, dude. Like, that's why I talk yeah. about the past so much, because it was fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, I got to fucking scrap by. You know, you, you already know the what I fucking got. I got to fuck girls and wearing soda W shirts nowadays. You know what I mean? So it's like, back in the day, it was so goddamn easy. But thank God I have a beautiful girlfriend now from motherfucking Russia. That's cool. But, like, you feel me, right? Like, I've been through some shit. And it is what it is. So, yeah. Yeah, why can't girls just let me play the boobs, dog? Come on. Yeah, girls just gotta play the, with play with boobs. You can play my penis. So. Uh, yeah, it's fair it's, trade. It's always good to get your penis played with. I don't know. Some of you boys in the chat might not know how that feels, but it does feel pretty good. Okay. If you don't um, play with my penis, you're sexist. What's the worst thing you've done in school? Because I want to play with your boobs. You should want to play with my penis. I agree. That's sexist. I want to play with your boobs. I mean, sorry. I mean, I meant your penis. But um, what's the worst thing you've done in school? Like the worst, like... <clears throat> weird thing like deviant thing like i'm talking like fucked up shit uh, okay i've probably told all these things already i went to, i got in trouble a lot the worst thing is probably like the bus story you've already heard that though oh yeah what, what was but it, it was an it was an accident like it wasn't i called an actually down syndrome kid retarded oh so I didn't yeah know, that's that's like, super fucked up yeah yeah that's yeah i, I, I yeah. yelled at him like 10 times i didn't know i thought it was someone else though and yeah that's whatever that was bad. And then also I locked a kid in the lost and found box, mm -hmm. but he thought it was funny. Um, like he, when he got out, he was kind of laughing. Like we had done it before, but one time we got caught and I really looked like a bully. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. See what else. Do you ever jerk off in school? In the bathroom, of course. Dude, I like, jerked off. You have that one girl who hit everywhere. puberty a little too early. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's there like, was this the one girl. Dude. Her name was Jen. She had massive titties at the age of like 13. 
and yeah, it was I, crazy. I, I was like 13 as well, and I was like, fuck, dude, I gotta, and you know, every day before math class, she would let me play with her titties. It was the best time ever. I fucking loved math class, but, um, fuck, dude. You, I, you, I never yeah. got to play, I never got to play with any titties, dude. I don't, you just might, you, don't, you might not have played your cards right, because I was a little fucking, I was a man whore back in the day, dude, like, straight up, like, I was a man whore. Like, I tried to get with everyone and like if they didn't if they denied me i was just like okay like that's cool like i wasn't pushy about it but i i, I definitely like did my magic on every girl like i remember at one point i was dating this girl named juliet while it's like a lot of work man every time i got horny i really just wouldn't masturbate it yeah i masturbated a shitload too but the thing is back then i couldn't watch porn because my fucking if i looked dude I, if I if I looked at porn back then, my parents would find out, and I would get grounded. You know what I mean? Like that shit was bad. So you had to just like. You don't have to watch porn, man. I just masturbate to whatever, just fantasize. Yeah, no, I can I can completely sympathize with that because I've I've done that shit all the time. But yeah, um, yeah. like I yeah. masturbate like there are times I go five times in school, man. It's bathroom breaks. What five times a day? Yeah, no, my teachers were like, I there came to a point where you only have you're only allowed to have so many bathroom breaks in a class, right? Um. And the teacher's like, there's no way you're going to the bathroom that much. Dude, there's no way you no, wanked was... once five times. No way, a and day. The, and the thing is, like, I told my friends, I was like, dude, on it, like, me and my friends are pretty open. I was like, yo, I'm masturbating, man. I got to go to the bathroom all the time. <laughs> dude, I'm you always would so tell fucking horny. your friends. So I told my, so I told, so I told my, fr yeah, this happened. I had a science teacher, and um, I remember my teacher called me. I was like, Chance, you go to the, there's no way you go to the bathroom this many times a day. And a bunch of my friends that I had told I'd go to masturbate, they started snickering to themselves. The and my science teacher at the time was teaching sex education, right? That's what we were going over. And so my teacher kind of actually picked up what was going on. And he realized I was masturbating, I think. Wow. Right? Because he kind of started snickering to himself a little bit too. And he just said, just, just get out of here, Chance. Just go. That's kind of how he responded. You can ask Ross. Ross, you met him Dude, before. That's... He was one of the few friends I had in middle school. I still talk to. How is your dick not falling off by now? Five times a day, dude. Like that's. So, well, yeah, I mean, sometimes middle school, man. I was always so horny. There's so many boobs. At least not actually weren't. There was like that one girl in class though that always had it. High school, man. I kind of hated every girl I didn't, in high yeah, school. I didn't like. like high I never really. Either. I stopped yeah. looking at girls in a sexual way. Mm -hmm. I just hated them all. I hated. I just hated them. Yeah, they I all think I peaked me off because I... like. I, I had I a girlfriend for three years, and she sucked, and she was annoying. But I Wait, still you, you dated had a girlfriend, her. Like, I feel like breaking up with her. You had a girlfriend before Leah. Yeah, I dated her for like three years. Oh shit, that's crazy. And that's who I you lost. You, her, I, that's who after, you lost your virginity after to. After I broke, no, we didn't have sex ever. I wasn't allowed to go to her house. Wait, can I ask you who you lost your virginity to? Uh, it's a, it's like Leah, pretty much. Sherry and I really we tried, but I couldn't get a boner because I was too nervous. So it doesn't really Wait, count. real? Kinda... You, you you were too nervous? Of course, man. Jeez, dude. Shit's oh, wait. scary. I remember, yeah, the first time I had sex, I couldn't get a boner either, but it's because my friend gave me a dried up used condom. Like, not used. I mean, uh -huh. it, it wasn't used. It was a dried up old piece of shit that, um, that was like, it was like a five-year-old condom that had no lube. And I tried to put it on my dick and it, it just it fucked everything up. But I'm, damn, I'm sorry you were nervous, man. Honestly, can we get some fucking Bible thumbs in the chat? Uh, I see your... Damn, that's fucking hilarious, man. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> not, a a, condom, not a used that's condom. Weird. It wasn't... I, I didn't mean a used condom. I meant, it, I meant it was just very old, and it was gross, and it was probably opened a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you know if you tear the, the seal of the condom, all the fucking... The, the humidity gets out and shit or whatever, and it becomes really dry, and like... It becomes like a piece of rubber at that point. It's like a tire. Try putting a I've fucking never, tire on your dick. I've, I've never, I, I, like, seriously, I've actually never um, opened a condom and then, like, left it there and then came back and checked on it. Well, that's your, f th look, I was fucking goddamn 16, okay? Like, my never, friend, my boy Max, okay. my boy Max was like, he, he kept this condom in his wallet, right? And I'm sure that he had fucking opened it just to see it and be like, oh, look, a condom, yeah, right? And, and then he put it back in his wallet for another two years. And then he gave it to me to fuck my girlfriend with. And that that's what it was. Like, it was just some old crusty condom that my friend had probably fucking fucked with and looked at and shit. And it didn't work, and my dick didn't work, and it was bad. But uh, that's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, dog. That sucks. Yeah. I feel like we have a very <clears throat> similar... I don't know. I feel like maybe our lives were very similar until high school. It seems like in high school, you just kind of nerded out and didn't do your thing. But in middle school, I was like, it seems like we were kind of similar. Middle school, all I did was look for, I fantasized about World of Warcraft and really wanted to go home. And I sort of just talked to whoever talked to me, which was everyone. Mm -hmm. For some reason, people like talking to me. 
and I just responded. Well, I guess you're... people liked me, which makes me feel pretty good. Pretty good. You're pretty easy to approach. You know what I mean? Like not you to look mention... at yeah, like you're easy to approach. Like if I looked at you, I would not think like, oh, this, this guy's a dick. You know what I mean? Like you look at some people, like fuck, for example, like fucking ape. You, you look at him, you're like, oh, he's probably a dick, right? And but and you wouldn't maybe you wouldn't approach him. But you're a very approachable guy, dude. Like I could walk up to you and just be like, what's up? You know, like, even if I didn't know you, you're just approachable. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe he does do that. I've I haven't seen it though. I sex seen it. sex isn't that great. You just masturbate, it's fine. Yeah, dude, I masturbate in some crazy Focus places, me. man. I I masturbate in some crazy places, I'm dude. I, I've, yeah, I've, hey man, I masturbate every time I get on a plane, dude. I wish I could like bring you guys. I have like for some reason I can really remember everything so well right now. Like I have this crazy photographic memory right now. Like I remember when I was I, I remember the bus. I was on the bus going to like a soccer game because I played soccer in mm -hmm. middle school, and I, I I remember picking the seat all by myself, and I sat there and wanked one in my shorts, like on the bus with everyone surrounding me. Like I just I curled up like in with my knees up and just wanked in between my my legs in my shorts, like. And I jizzed all over the inside of my shorts. So I, I can only imagine that they stained and that they fucking, yeah. But th it's just crazy where I wanked off. Like, I wanked off everywhere. I did like, it while driving one time. I've done it while like, driving. I was going on the highway. I was just fucking masturbating, dude. It was crazy. Dude, I've done it while driving so many times. Like, so many goddamn times. Like, yeah, I've, I have know exactly that feel. Like, I, I almost, feel like any I've only, man I've can only, relate to this. Really? You've done it a lot? That's okay. That, now I'm really scared. Because I always get scared. Ever since I masturbated while driving on the yeah, I'm no. always scared to pull up to a car on the yeah, highway because it get could to a be red a guy light, masturbating. When you get to a red light, you just put it away, you know, and then you return. Yeah, for sure. But, like, yeah. just driving on the highway, if I'm passing a car and I'm, like, looking over to the right, like, I don't want to be rude. Like, what if he's masturbating? Yeah. Because it could be me at that thing, one moment. The, the thing, now, that, now you've confirmed that other guys have done it. Oh, man. It does Shit. happen, but it's very rare. Okay, I can I'm assume, scared to pass okay, up on I'm, cars. Imagine, like, truckers who just drive all day. I'm sure they wank off while they're driving. Like... I mean, they're, they're driving in a straight line, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 very hard to, like, fuck that up. Like, I, I agree you probably shouldn't take your eyes or your focus off the road. But, hey, if you're fucking, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Like, you got to do what you got to do. So I can imagine that they jerk off while driving because it's driving to them is so natural and it's so normal. Like, that's, that's they do it for a living. They drive all the time. So they, they probably know the roads where there's not going to be a lot of traffic, where there's going to be a straight line, and they can just fucking wank one, you know? So, like... They're it, probably it, listening to, like, some K Kona shit, dog. Yeah, they probably turn on fucking, fucking 95 horse. point porn. And it's like, oh, yeah, Jimmy the trucker, talk to me, baby. I fucked my cousin just last winter break. Shit, <sighs> motherfucker. Ding. Yeah, like, that's exactly what they're doing, you know? But uh, that's yeah. life, man. People There's masturbate banjo everyone. Going Look, off. We're fucking men. We need to jizz. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We fucking jizz. Like, I'm sure people in the chat have some fucked up stories of where they've jizzed in some crazy places. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that's mm -hmm. happened to all of us boys. You know, like, it's just what we do. We fucking jizz, you know? So, you know, like, type true in the chat if you fucking have jizz in some crazy don't, spots. Don't, don't. Shut the fuck up. Don't oh. tell them to spam shit. Okay. You, do you remember that? Do you remember that spam, by the way, Mitch, a couple streams ago where it's like, I am not one of these sheeple. I will not spam. I will not oh, give yeah, hearts yeah, yeah. to no whoever hearts Mitch tells me to give hearts yeah, to. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, I yeah. made that, man. That was me, dog. You made that? I made that copy pasta. Fuck what, yeah, I did. Why dude. did you copy paste me, dude? What the fuck? I copy pasted you. I was proud. I made that. That's fucked up, dude. Like, why would you do that? Because you can't tell me to who, who to. You don't tell me to spam two. I mean, you say like, two in the chat if you guys agree. Yo, you didn't even give me an option to disagree with you. Oh, true. Uh, that's that's something I do do. So wait, you I'm tell a, me, yo, give hearts to this person. Now they're fucking you spamming give me an option. it, dude. Now they're fucking spamming it, dude. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, because I'm not one of these sheeple. Oh, fuck off, dude. Like, what? Okay, yo. The hearts in the chat is just something nice to, you know, it's just nice to, like, when I say, like, yo, that's my boy Chuck, put some hearts in the chat. Like, are you saying you want to have an opinion, uh, option to not do it? Like, you already have yeah, that give option. Yeah, give me, give me a fuck you Chuck thing okay, going on. Okay, okay, you know, I'm hearts edgy. in the chat for my boy Chuck, and fuck you if you fuck Chuck. Like, I don't, is that what you want me to say? Like, I don't know. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, no, uh, man. I don't understand. Like, I'm just trying to fucking be uh, the real streamer or some shit. Well, I'm doing what I want. Do you ever tell your chat to do anything? Or do you, you kind of just never. Do? Yeah, I, I feel no, like I've I never. It. I've never heard you say like, "Welcome to the PI gang," or I've never had you had. No, you've never done no, any of that no, shit. No, yeah. no, yeah. I don't do that. I don't like it. I don't like forcing people. No. Yeah, dude. I, I feel like I the, personally don't like it. Occasionally, I might do it as a joke, and in a way, I kind of do wish I had something like a. Like some sort of, you know, like some, it's got something cool. You know, it's not cringy. It's just, you know, 1G. Yeah, just I like 1G, dog. It's simple, like basic, not stupid. Um, GGX gang. 
like that is cringy. Well, that you realize that's just some ploy that's to stupid. get people to spam GGX everywhere so that other viewers see that shit and they fucking like. That's like the same thing with CX. You know what I mean? It's like they fucking CX they, gang. Yeah, <laughs> people spam CX and then the normies are like, "What the fuck is CX?" They Google it. They see fucking eh, Ice's face, right? And then it's just like that's just some that's just like a I don't know. It's just good shit. It's good shit all around. Like GGX gang is like cool. Like I don't I don't I don't fucking carry do whatever you want. But like I feel like creating like a. Like I don't know. Like if you if you create like a fucking like ape gang, I feel like it's the best one. Like and I'm, I don't I don't even like like ape gang is good. Yeah, yeah. like that's good. You know what I mean? Um, like ape gang just, is just funny. Like it's just funny overall. But like people are forcing shit now. You know they're like they're forcing. I will, shit. I will say this. I do. I do. Um, when I hear ape do some of his ape things, like ape gang, ook ook, and he's just like really angry and ape like, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of what I'm thinking is like, man, I'm pretty entertained, but mm, I don't know if I want to have lunch with him. That seems kind of scary. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I I don't want to do anything where someone's like, man, popping would be really stressful. Yeah. I yeah. really try not. I don't want to do that. I uh -huh. would. I want my viewers to be like, I could have lunch with Soda, and that'd be quite interesting. I would love to have a conversation with him. Right. Damn. Yeah, no, I feel that for sure. All these fucking ape gang members in here are fucking not even sub to me. You guys are fucking clowns, dude. I'm going to find you guys. I'm going to ban you all from ape stream. But anyway, continue. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have lunch with ape. I agree. You want to okay. sit in the car with him, though? I, 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 we can sit I'd in the sit car. I, I'll hang out with him. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, if I'm having lunch, I don't need some guy. Like, and I, I can't finish my food. You know, I'm not feeling my stomach's hurting. I don't need him getting up. You're going to finish that food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, the only okay, like I feel like it was okay. Like the, this is this, this is the problem that me and Ape ran into a little bit. Like, like Ape is my friend, but at what extent is he just yelling at me for the sake of content? You know what I mean? That's what I didn't like. Like I felt like it became our content for him to scream at me and tell me what to do because people because my Reddit was so mad and my viewers were so mad that I fucking didn't get my shit together that they wanted this Ape figure to. To be the person that does it, you know what I mean. So at what point does it become just straight content for him to scream at me, right? And then I'm just sitting there taking a dick in my ass for content. Like that's where me and Ape like ran into like a little bit of trouble. But it's like we, we've we've hashed it out. Like we're fucking me and Ape are good. But it's like you know you, you know what I mean. Like does that make does, does that make sense to you at all? No. What? It doesn't. Hello. Wait, are you there? What? I didn't. You cut off. Okay, wait. wait can you hear me? You said wait. That, that, that doesn't make sense to you. No. Oh. Well, I, I'm saying like it was content for him to scream because it's funny for the chat. You understand? Oh yeah. Okay. Um. That so you think the... he was just doing it for it to be funny? No, I think it was like a half and half. I think he. Or no, I think it was. I think it was like he wanted to help, and it definitely he was trying to help, but it was also good for the chat because they lulled and liked it. You know what I mean? So it's a win-win. It's like. It, it, does it make sense? Yeah, sure. But, I mean, I don't know. You don't really... You never 110% know people's intentions. Only a person knows themselves, right? Fully, 100%. Oh, into the world we go. Okay. Yeah. So, you never fully know a person. Well, I, I would, like to, be, I, I would like to believe that at this point I fully know Ape and I feel like the, we're good to go. Yeah, and right. like we're, I, I feel That's what I want to believe. I just want to believe that we're good boys and that's that. So, yeah. Uh, no plans. CS, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Twitch Prime, that's what's up. Uh, damn. Are you um? Are you Ethan still? Or do you need to go Ethan again? Uh, I can go Ethan again. Yeah, go go ahead and Ethan. Honestly, like, dude, for some reason, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I, I just feel like talking right now. So, like, if if I'm annoying the shit, cool, you might be. Doing... No, you're actually cool, man. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I, okay. I'm like, I'm not streaming. I don't. Being on other people's stream is fine. Doesn't bother me at all. You ever have those moments, Mitch, where you do something so cringy, and then you know, five years later, you look back and you kind of actually cringe just thinking about it. Yeah, but fuck those moments, man. Like, just I, 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 I hear what you're, so you're saying. Those, you could, you're no, saying you could I, I do something wanna, so I don't wanna, bad. I don't want to give myself any more of those moments, man. So you're saying you would I rather avoid that moment than may possibly create a good moment. You know what I mean? Like, you I mean, could... like, dude, if I masturbate, I really don't care anymore. Oh, okay, but and there's so much uh, effort this. that has okay. to go into oh, picking up like... a girl. Dude, okay, there's apply, apply so this to non-sex then. Apply this to non-sex. Apply this to streaming. Okay. okay, apply this to like streaming or like money or like. Oh, streaming's great. Yeah, but imagine, okay, imagine there's that 1% chance you can double your following, but there's a 99% chance you're going to lose something. You know what I mean? Like, what do you, like, like, like yeah, situations. you could lose followers. Fuck that, dude. 
Yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. Like, like, like the Andrew? high risk shit, like the high risk, high reward shit. You know what I mean? Like that shit gets me going, dude. Like I love the high risk, high reward shit. Like that's why the drama makes me. It's like it's just so enticing. Like I feel like I, I don't know. It's like it's like interesting to me. Like well, I, I don't, I'll I don't do know. I'll do really stupid stuff here and there, sure. Um, if it's really entertaining for my viewers, but it has to be really entertaining and things being really forced technically don't come off as entertaining on my stream. They just come off as cringy. Yeah. Especially since it's so out of place on my stream. It's more, it's more like it's, it's more Dude, I'm not gonna normal lie. for you to do it. When I throw my for reputation me, like, on the line, forced. like when I would throw my reputation on the line, it would actually, it would actually like, it would get me off a little bit. Like, I'm not saying like in a sexual way. I'm just saying like. It, it it's just like that that adrenaline rush that the like feeling of like holy fuck like I could look like an idiot or I could look really good you know what I mean like it it, it, it like makes me like I don't know like it gives me a rush that I like does that make sense no oh shit you don't understand that like I guess you're, you're no I don't understand it I don't uh, okay, I don't well, get it have you ever gambled yeah I love gambling gambling's fun. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like gamble when, responsibly, but yeah. When, when you get the rush of like, have you ever gambled enough to get a rush out of it? Yo, can we ban this fucking guy? Like, yes, mods, I have mods, got mods, a rush please. out of it. Mods, thank I've you. lost probably. Oh, what's the most I lost? Probably lost like, not nearly as much as you or Byron, um, but a lot. Like, think like seven grand, seven, maybe five grand. Yeah, I feel that, dude. I'm gonna. Like, I'm, that's I'm, a lot. I'm gonna tell you something that I really. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that that really fucked me recently. Okay, like. Okay. I went oh, to no. Vegas. You know, you know, I went to Vegas for that poker tournament. Uh, for None the Twitch. of these stories. These are oh, these are always kind of like I'm gonna have to say I'm so sorry for you after I hear this. Okay. Hey, it's all it's my fault. But let me let me just explain this. Okay, so so there was um, I, I went to the I went to the like the Twitch charity event. Okay, like the for the fucking poker shit, and I ended up winning the charity event for like 10k. So that's cool, right? But afterwards, I only lost like 2k in Vegas. That's that's not a big deal. But what it did, it sparked. It's well, two K is a lot, so like, don't let me un two two K is a, a good amount to lose. So like, but for you know, like relative or whatever, right? Like Byron lost fifty K. That 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 would be like devastating, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, and then the fucking that just sparked a thing in my mind to where like I wanted to gamble more because I like that rush, you know? Like I put like a thousand dollars on one hand of blackjack and I won it, and just that feeling of winning mm -hmm. it, it's like so good, you know what I mean? Like it's just like fuck yeah, like we you feel like confident, you feel like unstoppable or whatever the fuck, right? 50k I know, uh -huh. the, the chat was spamming 50k like don't sit here and say i exposed anything i'm just saying if he, you guys need to stop taking what i say seriously okay like i'm reading the chat like okay anyway moving on so i got back and i remember i went to some underground poker game like i'm talking like i, I found a poker game in austin and oh, shit, i dog is scary yeah I what was went, it like walking in there man was it like was there, like there was drugs and shit like and there was shit. a stripper pole and shit like yeah like it was oh, shit, it was, and dude. i i lost I've never like been to one of those dude this is what happens to me when i get in my gambling mood like the vegas trip sparked this side of me that i didn't want to spark you know what i mean and oh shit, so dude. i got back to fucking i got back to austin and i went to this underground poker game i ended up losing like ten thousand dollars there like that's a shitload of money to lose right like that's Man, a, that's you get, a, like, a guy come up, be like, you better pay up, son. Like, yeah, dude, it was scary. Like, like legit, if I, if yeah, exactly. If I didn't pay the money that I owed, I don't. That would have been bad. Like, I would have been like, that would have been really bad. But yeah, yeah who knows, man. But the, the, that that maybe was just, you should have gambled to just you know see what happened, right? Should just be like, I don't want to pay you. See what happened. Yeah, just gamble, no, there yeah, was no dude. Get this get guy, rush. this guy, this guy was like, he was like Mexican. He had two phones and he was snorting cocaine. Like, you don't fuck with that. You know what I mean? What is, what is Mexican have to do with anything? No, no, I'm just saying he's. It has nothing to do with it. I'm just saying like he he looked like he meant business is what I meant. It doesn't matter whether he's Mexican or not. It doesn't matter. That means nothing. But yeah, like I'm just saying he had two phones. Okay, so when when the guy has two phones, you know he's 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 do he's doing shit with his life. You know what I mean? So really, like, yeah. If you see a dude with two phones, you can automatically assume that he knows some people. You feel me? So like just trust. All right. I uh, got two phones, dog. Shit, I know people. Yeah, but one of you, dude, you have two phones. One's to stream on, and one's to fucking browse Reddit. Okay, like. We, that's me dog shit i'm doing shit yeah you're doing shit dog Two things at once. yeah 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 but I, I guess we didn't read it when's the last time you no, gambled? maybe he was a streamer when's the last time you gambled what? the last time you gambled i don't know. i don't really do a lot of sponsor streams i mean i've declined a lot there was a there was a month um there was so many sponsored games just like really hungry man yeah. They were all like shit games too. Like and so all the companies that like come to me to ask me to play these kind of games typically, uh, 
I just declined so fucking many. I think they kind of stopped bringing them to me. So it's like, oh shit, maybe I should accept the shitty one every now and then. So they at least offer me shit still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So I just kept saying fucking no. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I so think crash game. with all the like sponsored games, like I've never done that once. I've never had a game sponsor me and pay me to play their game ever. I've never had that, and I'm wondering how that would. I don't know. Like, I, can I even get that with my type of like stream? I don't even think I can. Um, yeah, if I had a game, I wouldn't, I would, there's, well, there's so many streamers now, Mitch. So, um, you put yourself in a sponsor's position. They're not watching your stream. All they see is a viewer count, right? So they're seeing, okay, we need, we're, we want to pay, uh, what is your average viewer count? I don't know anymore. What is it, Mitch? Let's just say 10 K cause you're at 10 K right now. Let's say we got a 10 K average viewer streamer. Wait, wait, That's kind of what we, up. I'll just tell you. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? It doesn't matter. We want a we want a streamer who gets 10k average viewers. My man, they've got like a notepad with 50 people on it. Yeah, like okay. 7k. And yeah, when like... they get to your name, they'll be like, okay, so why should we do this guy over the other guys with 10k? Yeah. Right. There's not. Eh, you're gonna lose, man. So you're saying, well, but who am I competing with? That's the thing. Who am I competing with? Like. It's a lot of people you're competing with nowadays, man. It's crazy. Six. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Like if I have a 7k average, okay, and I, I wait, they're not gonna sponsor Listen, me. Man, you want to get, you you get sponsors, dog? You know what you gotta do. What, what do I have to you do? You gotta. We're we're back to the same thing. You gotta you gotta be reformed, okay. Fuck, and to be I've listen to me, listen dude. to be reformed, man. You gotta stop scamming and you gotta stop lying. Who you do I suck scam? That dick, dog. What do you mean? You gotta suck that dick. What? Who am I scamming? You said you'd suck a dick. Okay, I'll suck the fucking you said... dick. Are you serious, dude? I'll suck the goddamn dick. Look, okay, I'll suck the dick. Just fucking look. Let's stop talking about the goddamn dick sucking. Please stop bringing that up. You fucking... I, they'll forget, dude. They will fucking forget. Please stop. Uh, someone said you had suck that dick. Reckless we will never forget. Bookmarked. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was last stream or some shit. I was looking at everybody's numbers. That's probably why. I do. I actually like to do that. Wait, let's look at your numbers, Chance. Soda popping. Okay, let's see. Oh, how man. Twins. You're green. That's all that matters. The last 90 days, you're not doing so hot, but that doesn't. Who fucking cares? We're talking about the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, the last I 30 mean... days. The last 30 days is kind of bad. I don't. Why is that so bad? What the fuck? I don't know. The last. Why is this one so bad? Last 30 days it says 6,000 drop. Like there's no way. Like what the fuck? Oh, I know why. It's average viewer count. I was doing like 20 hour streams really long streams and for the last half i played overwatch with no cam and no mic so average viewer count is probably way lower than normal yeah yeah no so you're saying the overwatch streams right yeah overwatch yeah, yeah. streams dude, see, the, just streams like that in general that's exactly i'll, I'll play warcraft 3 dude that's dude. exactly no that's exactly what i'm talking about right like dude if i go play fortnite with no cam no mic i'll literally probably have like 3k viewers right and that shit kills my stats and then the motherfucking andy's walk around and fucking post on fucking subreddits and say 3k andy and shit you know like you really can't do what you want to do without being called a dead streamer you know what i mean Mm -hmm. it's it, it's fucking crazy like you'll just get called dead streamer lol but anyway uh yo who else fucking dude you, you're you're chilling man over the long haul you're doing fine dude like you're doing really well for sure i'm not gonna i'm gonna i'm not gonna do things to kill my stream <laughs> i'm gonna make sure it keeps growing or stays where it's at yeah but when you play overwatch at the end doesn't that hurt, i mean hurt no. your stream or it doesn't hurt no your stream? it doesn't hurt my stream as long as it's not taken away from the hours i would be putting in do actually getting high view count so if yeah, i stream yeah. 10 hours right and i i i don't feel like streaming anymore i'll turn it off i go to sleep i'll do whatever i want mm -hmm. but what if during that time i do whatever i want i just keep streaming but i put in less effort I turn yeah. off my webcam because i don't want to be on camera i just don't feel like it. some days i want to i want to do that so bad where i just want to like have a no cam no talking stream but i know it'll kill my number so i don't do it you know what i mean well, I don't care as much. Yeah, but the only reason I Cause care I know, is because I, cause I uh, damn well know uh, I'm coming back the next day and do just fucking fine. That's true. See, you have the confidence to to fucking fight through that. But for me, if I did a no cam, if I did a no cam, uh, no mic cam, uh, stream, I would be posted on 500 reddits about how I'm a dead streamer. So it's like, it's not even that I give a shit. It's more so the fact that I care what the community says. You know what I mean? Which is like, 
that's what I care about. Is, is is that just as bad though? Maybe that's just as bad. Maybe I'm actually le- at that point. I'm letting other people no, dictate you what should I do. Care. I felt exactly the same way you did. I'm just at a point in my streaming career where I can do what I do. So you and so not you, care. Okay, so so it's not wrong for me to feel that way. It's not stupid for me to feel that way, right? No, I felt the same way for a long time. Okay, well then that's we all... why I did uh, private streams. They're called. You could basically put yourself under. I wasn't under any game. There was no game I was under. It was, I called them private streams. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a camera. I didn't. I used my mic and I just hung out and I talked and I just just was hanging out, man. Which was not the type of stream I did back then. It was very rare. They took that shit away, man. You can't do that anymore. Like I was, yeah, was like, you literally don't display me. On, under, they took it away. They took it away because people kept streaming porn. Oh shit! Wait, and they would wait, go into oh, no section, like incognito right? and shit. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah, people yeah. would stream porn and not get banned. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit! Why do? Why would you ever want to stream porn? Like you could just go fucking watch it. Like why? Why stream porn? I mean, they maybe... do it because they're to- because they're not supposed to. It's edgy kids. Is that why they fucking say the n word too? In- like uh, mentally young. Is that I guess. why they say the fucking n word as well? Like they just do this crazy shit. Yes, check out Reckless Twitter followers in the last thirty days. Yeah, my <laughs> yes. Dude, my- I feel like Twitter followers are like weird. I mean it's embarrassing, but yes, it's, they they literally do it because they're not supposed to. That's so wait, why. If, it, if it wasn't frowned upon to say the n word, they wouldn't try and say it, right? Is that what you're saying? I think that it, there's sure. there's probably some truth to that. Yeah, definitely some truth to that, um, for sure. I mean, there's there's a lot of really racist words out there that are like really bad. Um, they don't get said as much, do they? No, they don't. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely don't. But they, but they're still there, and they're still said. But there's, it's not comparable. Yeah, that's so true, dude. Fuck. God damn it, yo. Can we reform Twitch chat, man? Yo, we gotta reform these motherfuckers, dude. Like you've, I don't know. We gotta fucking reform these boys, bro. Reform up, boys. Check Tyler's growth. I mean, it's probably not even fucking here, is it? Tyler one. I don't even think he he hasn't streamed more than two times yet, or something, right? Don't you? Oh, it's LOL Tyler one. LOL, LOL Tyler one. Okay, there you go, boys. Let's see. Let's see his growth, boys. It's going to just do the, the weird thing with Tyler is it's going to be like I don't think he can beat his last stream. Do you think he can beat that? Like can you beat 400k? I don't think you can. No. You can't beat that, right? So the, the thing is with Tyler I mean, he's is main, he's maintaining 100k today and tomorrow maybe it'll be 75, 50k. Yeah. It's going to get to a point where it will even out. And at that point, then it'll either A, keep going down, or B, it'll start going up slightly. Or it'll just stay there forever. It's better if you just honestly just stream. I mean, yeah. try to be putting out good content, but you don't got to plan every stream. Just get on and play some games. I honestly kind of miss the... I, I miss not like being consistent. Like, this sounds so fucking weird, but... I missed the days where I could just log on and do whatever the fuck I wanted, and there was hype every time. You know what I mean? Like that—that that was really like, the, like as you become more of a consistent streamer, um, it's it's harder to keep hype up. Does that make sense? Like for you, example, like that's why people call you boring or whatever the fuck, or they meme about that is because you're consistent. So therefore, you're consistently doing like a hundred percent. When sometimes there are streamers that put out like two hundred percent, um. But they're not there as much. You're right. right. No, seriously, it's actually like it's it's actually insane how yeah. crazy repetitive those people are. Mm-hmm. They are like they're, this person's resident sleeper, and then that streamer does like one cool thing, like the one really pog champ clip comes out. Now they love him, and everything's all hyped up. Mm-hmm. And then the next fucking week, resident sleeper. To see it happen over and over and over, repeatedly, so constantly. Every fucking week with someone new, every fucking time, it's just, I, it's just a new frog. Like when I see someone say something, like you're a new frog, dude. Like how do you not realize that it's so repetitive? Yeah, but that's that's what they do though. Like they just that's just it, it, that's what streaming is. Like you can either you can either fucking be consistent and grow your channel the consistent way, or you can work on your content only and your image and make it sure that shit's untouched. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. yeah, like. For example, like I, I don't know what your your image is just your image is consistency. Like that is the when I, that is your image. When I think of soda pop, I think of consistency, right? That is your really, dude. That's so weird. There's so many streamers more consistent than me. Fuck. Okay, it's just but, like in but, like, what's in the group, I'm the only one even work anywhere close to consistent though. Like wait, you guys make me look so good. Wait, wait. You, you're talking about like summit and summit and shit, like summit oh, and lyric. Or summit, like... and, summit and lyric. Like, see, they're way more consistent, right? 
they are, they're, they're on time. Like they have a time they show up and shit. I mean, Lyric obviously is taking a break at the moment, but yeah. for five years, man. Yeah. He's way more consistent. I just go live and just, I just put in a fuck ton of hours, but they're just randomly spread out. There's no discipline really involved. I just want to do it. Uh, well, I would say for an autist streamer, you're very consistent and that's good. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. I'm like an you, autist like, streamer. Imagine, I'm ha- yeah. Like, dude, well, kind of. Like, imagine I don't know. Greek. I don't know where I am anymore. Dude, ima- okay, listen. Imagine Greek, Ice, me, um, Ape, any of these type of streamers that, that do this, like, you know, like we're fucking trying to entertain as much as possible. We, to, to stay consistent with that, with that content, it, it's 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 almost impossible like it's so fucking hard you know like and that's why we look up to you as like the consistent motherfucker you know what i mean and lyric quit i don't think lyric quit lyric didn't quit like relax with that shit no he took a taste oh, jesus christ dude they're memeing man they're memeing yeah uh Greek i think everyone consistent. has oh I... I i i hope everyone has somewhat of the same opinion yeah lyric take a fucking vacation like enjoy yeah, dude, there's it no, there's... end of story <laughs> Yeah, there's like, nothing wrong with that. What the fuck? You make so much money, you don't respect your job. That just sounds like someone who hates their life, man. Fuck off. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people oh, on the internet. I mean, dude, this is Twitch chat. Like, what do you expect? A, this is what Twitch a chat. loser, dude. Dude, dude, what, what, it's, it's Twitch loser. chat, man. Like, what do you? This is what they do. This is what this is what they do. Twitch chat's gotten a little better, man. I think people aren't that. Yeah, like, but, go take a break, Larry. But like, if you it, if you think about it, the people. I'd say 80% of people on Twitch don't even speak. Like, there's probably so many people in the channel right now listening to us talk that have not said a fucking word in the chat. They don't give two fucks about the chat. You know what I mean? They're just and listening. And they probably are thinking, yeah, Lyric, go take a break. It's cool, dog. Yeah, but the people that are dicks and are like, fuck you, Lyric, you know, you're a piece Do of those shit. those people that are dicks, they're gonna talk most more. of them are just, they're, no, they already have a fucking alt account made because they know they're a fan. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're chilling. They don't give a fuck. They're if they don't have a name, they're trying to build up. They're just there. No. Yeah. They're no, they're I, waiting to get banned. Like they got an alt account. They're that's ready. what I'm saying. Is that's what that's what sucks about being a streamer is and obviously like sucks is probably the wrong word, but that's what's hard, annoying about being a streamer. I guess is that the people that actually like you, you're never gonna know. Well, maybe sometimes you'll get the comment that's like, "Hey, bro, love your stream. You're a fucking dope streamer. Like, that's cool. Like, thank you, man." And you get those comments. You definitely do get those comments. But the thing is, the negativity will always be louder because people that are fucking pissed are gonna let you know that they're pissed. People that are happy are normally uh-huh. not gonna say shit because they're happy. You know what I mean? Like, if you're uh-huh. happy at school and you're doing your thing, are you gonna fucking complain and bitch? No. If you're fucking this pissed, is... everyone gonna... knows this, man. No, I know. But the thing is, it's taken me. A long time to understand that because i would look at the negativity as the majority as the whole you know and that that was what kind of drowned in me you know what i mean and it's a little different seeing it from the perspective of someone who's actually receiving that kind of hate but everyone knows that that's just how the world spins dude yeah it, the, it, it like is the how loudest the world spins. people are the negative complaining people yeah but they're not the majority yeah, well, shout out to the majority, yo. Honestly, shout out to the motherfucking majority. I fucking see you, boys. Shout out to the goddamn majority. You guys are you guys are dope as shit. And honestly, the minority, uh, <laughs> you guys are attention. Oh, I almost said a bad word, dude. Yeah, they're just you guys are a little bit weird when it comes to it. Just either you're entertained or you're not. It's just that simple. Ask Soto about his house that burned. Your house didn't burn down, right? I don't know yet. Well, you haven't gone back to your house yet. No, I'm still at my parents, dog. I was a. Uh... I'm probably going to go home tonight. I mean, I don't have to pack up that much. It's just like a 30-minute drive and just got to pack my dogs up and, and my clothes is pretty much it. Streaming is just entirely different from all that stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess you're uh, it's, a, it's a thing of its own, rather. Yeah, no, for but sure. But it's cool. You get like, like you got 10,000 people in your stream. Dude, I wonder. It's just really, it's a good, it's, right. uh, you're, you're putting a positive 10,000 people right now or almost 10,000 you're a dying streamer but almost 10,000 dead streamer uh, by the way all those people they can do whatever they want right now and they're mm-hmm. choosing to listen to your stream or watch your stream mm-hmm. every single day they can do whatever they want well maybe they're in work or they're on their phone or something like that that's a pretty humbling thing dude that's pretty cool yo shit that is true yo thank you boys for watching my shit and i hope that you have been entertained cuz yeah you know what i'm saying like i, I just hope that we as streamers, I'm sure it sort of feels the same way. Like, we feel good when we do our job good. You know what I mean? Like, when you're happy, we're happy. So, hell yeah. If you're a happy little pleb, say what's up.